Now, 50 people had their House of Commons passes withdrawn today amid concerns about the extent of political lobbying. More questions have also been raised in the Commons about the lobbying activities of Linton Crosby, the Conservative Party's strategist who also works for the tobacco giant Philip Morris. Our political correspondent Michael Crick is at the Commons now. Uh, Michael, what is the latest on um, Mr Crosby? Well, that row continued in the House of Commons today as to whether Linton Crosby had any role in the government's decision last week to delay introducing standardised packaging uh, on cigarettes. As you say, uh, it was revealed uh, that Linton Crosby uh, has a contract, his firm has a contract for uh, Philip Morris, one of the world's uh, biggest uh, tobacco firms. Uh, now, Downing Street and David Cameron have always insisted uh, that Linton Crosby's never uh, lobbied them uh, on this issue or indeed uh, any other issue. But it, uh, it seems that David Cameron didn't know last November uh, when the Conservatives took on Linton Crosby that around the same time he'd also done this deal with uh, uh, Philip Morris. Uh, and uh, it, the Downing Street spokesman was asked today whether David Cameron had seen uh, Mr Crosby's client list and uh, the spokesman ducked the question, which raises another question. If David Cameron hasn't seen uh, Mr Crosby's client list, uh, then how can he know whether he's been lobbied by him? Well, I wonder, have you seen Mr Crosby's uh, client list? What are the chances we'll ever know who he works for? Well, uh, it should happen uh, soon, because tomorrow uh, the government's going to publish a bill uh, which will st set up a statutory register of lobbyists and require by law each lobbyist, like Mr Crosby, uh, a so-called hired gun, third party lobbyist, to name their clients. So come next May or June, once the bill becomes law, he will have to stop being secret and name his clients. Um, but, you know, this isn't just about Linton Crosby, but the whole of Mr Crosby's firm, CTF. Because if you look at their website, you see that um, most of them, uh, most of the leading figures have worked for the Conservatives in the past. Uh, more than half of them have worked for Boris Johnson's campaign last year. And effectively what's happened is that the Conservatives have hived off or privatised a lot of their election activity to this firm. At the same time, they've got all these commercial contracts. But we don't really know who they are yet, apart from Philip Morris. We know they did some work for the Syrian rebels last year, but couldn't get a, a full-time contract. They've worked a little bit in the past for BAA. In Australia, they've worked for oil and alcohol uh, and tobacco. So all highly controversial stuff, and one can't help feeling that the Linton Crosby story has some way to run yet. And we're going to test you on another list, uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow, who's been dropped from allowing uh, themselves to have a pass into the Commons. Thank you very much, uh, Michael.